Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to do regression analysis and why do we need regression analysis. So first, let's see an example to learn um, what is an regression analysis. So here, let's say we have a data set of X and Y where X and Y represents uh, an experimental condition. It might be a temperature or time. Okay, so now if we plot these X and Y's in a figure, it looks something like this, where X is in, in, in the X axis and Y is in the Y axis. And we have plotted it like points. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of points. Now, the question becomes, is there any equation or a function that can be defined to represent all these points as close as possible? So let's say if we define an equation, that equation will be able to identify these points or represent these points accurately. So that is called regression analysis. So we will have a bunch of points and we will extract an equation to estimate these values while we give the x value and it will give us the the equation will give us the y values and so on so that is how a regression analysis work um, let's see how we can implement that in matlab what we need is that the command called polyfit to do regression analysis we can do it in many other ways in this video we're going to see how polyfit works so the command polyfit um, contains three different inputs here the first one is the x-axis value the second one is the y-axis value and this n represents the order of the equation so what do we mean by that let's see how a polynomial function is defined so here a polynomial function uh, represents p which is the function of x meaning x is the data set and defined as p1 x to the n plus p2 x to the n minus 1 and so on and the last value is a constant now these n's are actually defined as the order of this equation so these order will define the the nature of the equation so if it's a line we have to select a lower order n if it's a circle or a polynomial higher degree then we have to increase the n value so let's remember that we have something like this which looks like a linear function so we can we can plot a line that will actually go through most of the points so we can assume that this is a linear function so a linear function is going to be represented by saying that n equals to 1. So if we put n equals to 1 here, then if we evaluate this whole function, this represents p1x plus p2. And this is actually another form of what, what is y equals to mx plus b, which is a linear equation. So that means if we put n equals to 1 here, then we can represent this whole polyphit uh, command as a linear function. So we're going to use polyphit x, y, and 1 to fit or do regression analysis, assuming that the rate data can be fit within a linear function. So let's go to MATLAB and see if we can do that. I have opened a MATLAB script and saved it. Now we will define the data set. So I have opened the data, the data set we had previously here, and we're going to see how to do regression analysis to figure out a linear equation for these datas. So let's define x first, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So x goes from 1 to 6. So we can define it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But this is an inefficient way because this is a series and we can short, shorten it and, you know, um, do it with a shortcut, which is 1 colon 6. That will exactly do the same thing. So we have defined x. Now y Let's say the first value is 1, 22, 50, 62, 97, 110. So this is my x and y. I have my x and y, so I don't need that anymore. Um, let's now plot 
x and y. So to plot it, I'm going to use plot function x comma y, and I'm going to run it. So this is the plot plot function. Now you can see in general by default plot function plots the values with the line function, but we want we want to see the points. So to see the points, let's just say comma um, o, and then that will show us the circle I like that. And if we if we want to increase the size of the circle, we can do that by going here. Let's say marker size. Let's say ten. So that will increase the values. And okay, so we have our data set plotted. Now we need a function or an equation that can represent these data sets. So to do that, as we said previously, we have to use the polyfit equation or command. So let's define a variable a equals polyfit and x comma y comma we're going to say one because we are going to fit the linear equation and that way this will give us the coefficients of that polynomial equation so if we just run it we can see that it plotted like the previous um, previous figure but now we have the a has two different coefficients which is the coefficients that we defined previously the line which is p1 x plus p2 so this is p1 uh, 22 and this is p2 so we we need to see that here on the plots so to see that we we are going to use another function that's called polyval which are going to evaluate our polynomial function at those x values okay before using polyval uh, we want to make sure that we understand what what is the equation after fitting that line so the equation polynomial equation becomes let's say y equals to 22.3429 x minus 21.2 so this is p1 x minus p2 so we don't really need that but we, we are going to use that to evaluate the function so let's see uh, what is the polyval poly, polyval function that we're talking about so if i do help polyval that will show you how to use this polyval equation so it evaluates the polynomial at the value x so if we have a polynomial it will evaluate uh, every polynomial at x values so we are going to use that here so let's let's assume that our new y value will be y hat for the equation generated y value so this is the value that's going to be predicted by the equation that we just we just assumed for the data so y hat will be polyval and then a comma x a because a contains the polyfit functions or these coefficients and then it will evaluate that in x now if we run it it will have a bunch of y hat values and a value but it still didn't plot it because we didn't plot it so to plot and see how this equation looks like we have to use the hold on to hold the current figure and then we are going to plot another one with this y hat so that we can see both of them together the the measured or the data sets and also the predicted equation so let's use the plot command again to plot x comma y underscore hat and now i can see uh, we have plotted. If you, have, if you have confusion and you don't know how to plot uh, multiple plots together, you can watch another video I have put in before. And there we have shown how to use hold on or there are other techniques to plot simultaneous figures together. 
So let's run this one and see if that works. Okay, so now you can see the blue ones were the data set that we had, and the red one is our predicted equation that's predicting all these data sets. So this is the regression analysis, and this is the equation that predicts all those values. Now you can you can edit this plot by um, having some labels. Let's say x label is x, um, y label is y. Um, we can also put a title, let's say regression analysis. And now if you run it, now you can see it has X, Y's as labels and regression analysis as title. You can also put a legend to identify which one is which. Now, um, as we have two data, so let's put legend here. The first one is a blue one, so that's that's the um, let's say that's the measured data, and the red one is our predicted model. So we can say predicted something like that. Then that will show up inside the figure. Okay, so now you can see, and you can move this one to this side too. Okay, so that is how to do, uh, we do regression analysis. The later part is to calculate the error. Um, the error for the re regression analysis is that how far the line or the equation is predicting from the actual data set. So it's going to calculate these differences and then we're going to see what is the error. So let's calculate the error and the and see how, how does how does the regression analysis perform so let's calculate the error by defining error which is let's say error is my error variable and we're going to say y underscore hat minus y which is the difference between the predicted and the measured y values measured meaning the data set we initially uh, started working on. And there's another kind of error that we can calculate. It's called root mean square, which is, we can say RMS, root mean square, meaning we have to take um, the root of the um, square, square root of the means, and then we have to put the square. So let's say square root, then we're gonna use mean, and then we say error, is squared. So here, this error is squared. So root mean square, meaning squared, and then mean is m, and then root square root. So that's that's our definition. Let's close that. And um, if we if we run it, the whole thing. Now the RMS value is four point two four. So here we can measure how far the predicted line is from the actual data set so that is that's it for now thank you for watching um see you in the next one